Hey everyone, Mitch here. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at using Dungeon Scroll with Albear Rodeo. Dungeon Scroll is a free to use online tool for creating these uh, cross hatched style maps. It is pretty easy to use, and the workflow means that we can get maps like this in a matter of minutes. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, here we have a completely blank starting point in Dungeon Scroll. And to start off, I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool and make a uh, little bit of a main area for our heroes to fight in here. Okay, so we have our main area here, and perhaps they entered here through a, a st hidden staircase, uh, which we can draw here with the stairs tool. And then when they walk single file into this underground crypt, perhaps there is some columns here, and I'll just erase a few columns. Okay, that's looking good. A few more here, oh, too big. And one more, okay. So now we have uh, a large area to fight in, some columns that could provide cover for a rogue or something like that. And what do we need? Okay, next. Let's get the uh, area for our vampire. So we're going to have a little five feet wide tunnel here, which leads into a back chamber. Uh, yeah, that's looking good. And just to make things a bit more obvious, let's grab this wall tool and kind of rough out what the uh, coffin might look like. Okay. And with that, I think we're pretty good for an encounter map. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is export it. So to do that, we can go up to the file menu here and click export. Uh, by default, we have 70 pixels per cell, which is good enough for us. And the next thing we can do then is click rec download here and simply draw a rectangle around our map. That looks good to me. And I'll just click allow here to download multiple files. And now you'll see down here in the bottom left, our file has been downloaded. One thing to note here as well is that the grid dimensions are in the file name, and that'll be important in a second. Okay, heading back to our bear rodeo, we can now get, go in the top right here and select our map. And in order to import this map from Dungeon Scroll, all we have to do is drag our map from the downloads bar here into the map select window. You'll notice here, as we can see the grid size, it has already been set up for us as it's taken that from the map name. Okay, let's just hit select here. And now we can grab our party, our tokens. Let's say uh, we had a rogue, so he could hide behind some things. Perhaps we had a cleric, which we could against this vampire, and maybe a bard as well. Okay. Uh, and then for our vampire, let's grab this token. Maybe he's uh, slumbering in his, uh, in his tomb. But with that, I'm just going to close this downloads thing here, and we're ready to go. You could invite your players to the game, and they can join, and see the map, and move the tokens, and everything. What I really like about this workflow is that it's extremely simple to get encounters like this up and running in uh, a matter of minutes, as you've seen. So, um, I hope you found this video useful, but that's it for now for me. Thank you for watching.